Hello all and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. It's time to heal, transform, and be inspired. First today we meet Kate Linder. She is an American actress best known as her role on the number one soap opera, Young and the Restless, as Esther Valentine. She's been with the show for almost 40 years and we have a little secret to share. It's a job that she's kept all of this time. You will not believe it. Then we meet Patty Caldwell, owner of True Serenity Tea, a monthly subscription box that delivers award-winning loose leaf teas right to your doorstep. And she has a huge giveaway that she is going to share with us. You have to watch the show to see how to enter. Kate, welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. Thank you, Marcy. It's great to be here. It's an honor to have you on and share your story. It's truly uh, just so inspirational about one of my favorite parts is when you walked onto set and it was your first day and you thought it was going to be a one day thing. And now it's been almost 40 years with Young and the Restless. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just hired for one day. That's all it was for. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I'm very honored and I'm, I'm thrilled at, to be playing Esther all these years. And I counting, know. And counting. So, <laughs> and counting, yeah. So it's so interesting, like, you know, growing up, soap operas have always been a part, I think we could all say a part of our lives. And they came, came on in the 50s. And Young and the Restless has been been around for so very long. And in 87, I think, was the, it hit number one and has stayed at the number one slot. Is that correct? Yes, we're still number one. All these weeks, all these months, all these years, uh, which makes me extremely happy. <laughs> I started in 82. Yeah, so, so you so started... I, Hey, Esther had a little bit to do with it. <laughs> I, I'm so yeah. Sorry. No, so I, that's what I was going to say. So you've been with the soap opera that's been number one since 87. You came on board at 82. And you have grown with the Young and the Restless all of these years. So tell us what that experience has been like for you. Well, you know, it was really interesting because when I, I first came, how I got there in the first place is I went on a general interview with uh, Tom Palmer, who was the casting director at the time. And uh, I left him a tape of some of my work and then I went home and it was like, oh gosh, is this ever going to happen, you know? Yeah. And um, a little while later, his assistant, who at the time was Jill Newton, uh, she called and she said, hey, um, Tom's finished with your tape and you can come pick it up. I said, already? She goes, yeah, it's really weird. She said, he usually doesn't do that. But when you left, he went right in and looked at it. I said, okay, well, I'll be down in a couple of days. Well, he called me later and he said, look, I have this role. He said, it is so small. If you miss, if you blink, you're going to miss the whole thing. <laughs> but, he said, but I'm looking for something else for you on the show, which is really unusual because that doesn't usually happen. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, you know, I'll do it. And so uh, I've treated my- And then it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's been amazing. It is amazing. Uh, I, it seems like just yesterday, mm -hmm. everything that's, that's transpired and, and, and all the things that have happened and all the history. And, and I really, what I love about Young and the Restless and why, I, one of the reasons it is number one, is because when you tune in and you expect to see, you know, your characters or these people that you've grown up with or have been watching all your life, and fortunately for me, I'm, I'm still there, you know? That's true. That's true. The consistency, it means yeah. so much. I mean, yeah. if you're, you know, it, and that's, I think, why it's always stuck. And it's always been like something just familiar. 
right? That you can just tune in and you know what you're going to get and you have the storyline. So I, I, I think it's amazing. And I tell you what, being on a soap opera, I have heard is actually one of the hardest acting jobs. Is that true? Oh, it is very true. It is very yes. true. We do 60 to 80 pages a day, <clears throat> excuse me, a day. And, um, and now with the way, you know, budgets are and all kinds of constraints, you get one take. Yeah. And you better, you know, you better be there. And so, you know, there, there is a, a lot of dialogue. There, there's some people that have come from, you know, big stars that have come from film and, and so forth prime time and they get on our show and they, they go, what? Yeah. What? What do you mean that's it? What do you mean? Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't we do it again? No. <laughs> you know. And don't change, don't change the script, right? You can't do that. Right. Well, you know what? Um, our writers are amazing. Yeah. I can't believe what they do day in and di day out to bring you know, all, of, all of the material. And so it's my job to bring their words to life. So, yeah. I mean, maybe once in a while, I'll t I can tell if someone different is writing the character because mm -hmm. then maybe I said, well, gosh, Esther wouldn't say it like that. So then yeah. maybe I would say to them, is it okay if I say this word instead, you know, because- Right, and then I'll right, because you know, that's you now. There's a part of oh, you. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, so, I, I know Esther. Uh, in the beginning, she really drove me crazy. <laughs> because I thought she is so stupid. What is wrong with her? <laughs> but, but, um, but she really isn't. Uh, Esther, mm -hmm. it, it, she's a really amazing character. She sort of sits back and looks and watches and she knows what's going on. Yeah, she knows what's going on. Yeah. So, so let's talk about it. You, I've watched a few interviews you've had and you've had some really inspiration um, inspirational things that you have shared with others. So what would you say to the young actors out there that are, you know, thinking about pursuing this career and also about taking chances? Okay, well, I would say, I call it, for me, I call it working the program. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I continue, it's a craft, it's a business. They call it show business for a reason. It's the business of show. That's, that's what it is. And you need to treat it as such. I, I still go to class. I still go to my acting and, you know, uh, until, and I, I'm a dancer. I started as a singer dancer. So I be, you know, usually I'm in dance class and my voice lessons and that kind of thing. And you just have to keep going, keep working and do it to the best of your ability because you can't look for that outside thing. If, if you're going into this, I would say to a younger person or any person, young or old, whatever, if you're going into this, you're going to say, okay, I, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be a star. Then you know what? Forget it. And right. if you don't want it more than anything in the entire world, I would say, you know what? Do yourself a favor and do me a favor and just don't do it. <laughs> because yes. you know, this business is tough. And there are there are hot there are good days and there are you know the highs and the lows. And yeah, it's definitely a roller coaster ride. And you okay. know <laughs> <laughs> so when we come back, we're gonna talk about your star on the Walk of Fame and also maybe something that someone doesn't know, and that's the second job you've had for all of these years. So we'll be right back. Okay. Hello all and welcome back to Wake Up With Marcy. I'm here with Kate Linder from Young and the Restless. And you, not too long ago, had a star on the Walk of Fame. I mean, how cool is that? How did that make you feel? Well, you know, I, I still can't believe it. And I, I, I think I said to you earlier, I, I have to go there periodically and make sure. <laughs> it's just, amazing to me i'm so so honored uh, that is fantastic i mean 
So I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying. I mean, it's 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 a huge, huge honor. And um, and the way I found out was really really interesting. Of how I found out I was getting it, uh, actually. And it maybe uh, some people, like you said, don't know about this. But also, I've been a flight attendant for United Airlines, and um, so on this particular day, I was uh, flying. And um, it was during the week, and I usually don't don't fly during the week. So I thought, well, I better check my messages because I didn't tell anybody I was going because mm -hmm. I just was going to go and come back, and that was it. So I checked my messages, and I'm listening, and um, and there was a message from Johnny Grant, who was the honorary mayor of Hollywood, and oh, he wow. he said, "Hey, Kate, congratulations!" And this is really early in the morning, right? I'm half listening. I'm going, "What is he congratulating me for?" Oh, I thought, because we, our show had just won the Emmy. So I said, oh, yeah. that's how sweet of him that he would call and do that. So I'm listening. He goes, yeah, because you, Kate Linder, and I still can't believe it. He goes, you, Kate Linder, are receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So guess what? And I, I, I went, I, I'm not going, what? And <laughs> I start crying. This other flight attendant sees me. She comes up, goes, what is wrong? And I and she thinks someone died. I tell her, now the passengers are starting to come on board, you know. She goes, yes. oh my God. Oh. And I'm, I'm the purser, so I'm supposed to be in charge, right? I'm a wreck. She's, uh, she said, I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. I'll, I'll you know. So I'm calling people, you know, my, my husband, my parents, my yes. public, manager, everybody. And, um, and, and so then the, the captain comes out and goes, what is going on here? So, you know, someone told him, oh my God, Kate plays Esther and Young and the rest is getting a star. So anyway, after we took off, the captain comes on, right? And he announces, right. he says, ladies and gentlemen, you might not know this, but your purser today is Kate Linder. She plays Esther and Young and the Restless and she's receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's how found out and here I was, I thought oh, there was about uniforms because I had that uniform on and at that time Esther really wore her uniform a lot. So. That's so, so, yeah. so uh, tell me, why did you choose to do both all of this time? Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, there are a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm superstitious and I've juggled these two all these years, all these yeah. years. Um, Number two, I, I have seen a lot of people believe their own press. I've seen a lot of people come and go in this business. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can't forget who you are. When one day, you know, I'm on the set. The next day, I, I'm so lucky I get to talk to you. The day after, I'm serving coffee at, you know, 25,000 feet. Yeah. You, know, you don't forget who you are that way. And... Um, and, and then also, it's I'm doing like a personal appearance on the airplane, you know, and, and when people, I've had so many amazing stories. I yeah. mean, you can't believe it, you know, some of the stuff that's, that's happened. And, I can only imagine. <laughs> how about this pandemic? How, how has that affected both of your jobs? Well, you it's, guys, yeah. it's, been, it's been challenging, you know, it's very, very challenging. And um, at our show, I'm so proud of our show. They have worked so hard to uh, make sure that we are totally safe. I feel very safe going there. I don't see anybody. I'm so glad to see you because I, I don't see anyone. You know, we're all stuck in the house. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you know what? This is really it's important. Everyone has to. We will get through this. Yes, I know we will. It yes. will happen. But in order to make that happen, people have to get together, not get together physically. They need to get together by wearing their masks, you know, staying the distance. And, and, and this show is just, we have our masks on the entire time until we take the scene. And That's they block the scenes. We're, we're, we're away from each other. So uh, tell me, have they brought the storyline into the show? I mean, you have to make it current, right? Well, no. And you know what? No. I am really glad about that. And I'll okay. tell you, what. the reason is, you know what? We're all dealing with this. We're all dealing with it's. Re we're dealing with reality. Who needs to see it? I I don't want to watch it. I know. I, I really don't. So I think it's great.
that the show is continuing, the storylines are continuing. We're, we're picking up from where we left off. And, mm -hmm. uh, and during this, when we had run out of shows, they were showing classic shows, the old shows. And I, oh, I loved it. I was watching them going, oh my God, look at me like. To remember, right? That's awesome. So, uh, so no, I, 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 I'm thrilled that they're not. I think, and I, I personally, I'm only speaking for myself. I, I hope they do not do that. I think. But you know what? You're right, Kate. It's, a, it's the ability to escape. And that's what we need today. We need to be able to escape a little bit, be entertained, have some fun. Because... And learn something at the same time, which is another reason why Young and the Restless is number one. Because they, you know, there's been all kinds of storylines that deal with what people are dealing with. Like yeah. Esther is a, uh, you know, is a, she raised Chloe, you know, her daughter by herself. And, you know, she's not married. And, and, and things that, that people go through. Uh, yeah. And so uh, that's, that's I, I love the fact that they not only, the show not only entertains, but, but teaches and deals with, with real life. Real, real life subjects. Yeah, I think that's so important. I don't think. <laughs> so one more thing I want to talk to you about is, um, I know that's one thing that's very important to you, are these teas that you host for the March of Dimes. Right. And I know I, that you had to put yeah. it on hold for a little while. Well, you know what, I, I, I really felt it's so important to give back. I'm celebrity yeah. spokesperson for the Ellis Association. I've uh, been grand marshal for the lupus. I do, you know, uh, I give back. I'm, I'm in normal every day, I, I'm out there every night, you know, and every day working when I can to give back because I think it's so important. So yes, I've been doing these teas for over 21 years. And wow. now all of a sudden we can't, what are we going to do? So we're having the very first virtual tea. And a lot of my castmates are joining me. It's on October 4th. Uh, and it's free. You can just oh, that's join great. Uh, yeah. Yeah, There's going to be auction items and, you know, and, and the charities are in trouble now. I mean, yes. just look at them. I mean, th this is really, really difficult. So whatever I can do to help out, I'm going to do, and I'm so grateful. Uh, Christian, who plays Michael Baldwin, he usually always co-hosts these with me, and he's going to be there, and we have Michelle Stafford, we have Brighton and Brittany, and, Mich and, and um, Liz, who plays, you know. I, I think Arthur, that's awesome. Uh, Michelle Stafford. Oh, we have so many people. It's going to be great if you go on... Um, katelinder.com you'll find out all about it you've got my instagram and twitter and facebook and all that stuff all there. at kate linder right yeah. <laughs> i can click on all that you know? <laughs> well kate i can't thank you enough for coming on wake up with marcy and getting to meet esther valentine <laughs> uh, thank you uh, i really enjoyed it i think you're yes. great so thank, thank you so, so much you you're a beautiful spirit, and I really appreciate you taking the time. So have an amazing day. You too. You too. Stay safe. Okay. Bye. Up next, we're going to meet Patty Callwood. She is the owner of True Serenity Tea, and she's going to tell us about this huge giveaway. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Hi, Marcy. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so happy to have you on the show. I'm glad to be here. I'm so, so happy <laughs> to be here. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about tea today and your yeah. business. And tea is so incredible because it helps us deal with our anxiety and our stress. And God, with everything going on, we need a lot of help with our stress yeah. and anxiety. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And oh, tea, is, tea is it. 
I know. And TNT mm -hmm. helps in so many ways for our yes. health. But yes. I want to talk about you a little bit. You're a mom. You're yes. a woman entrepreneur. Yes, I am. So, talk to us about starting this business. Like, mm -hmm. how did this all come about? Um, well, basically, you know, if I can be transparent, um, I um, have an anxiety disorder. It was a few years ago. Um, before I really, really started my, my um, getting into the tea business, um, I suffered a, a, a with anxiety, panic attacks. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, I was drinking a lot of coffee at the time and didn't know what was triggering the anxiety uh, attacks or, you know, the panic attacks. And it turned out that um, it might have been like a, a lot of like, caffeine that I was taking in. And it wasn't, healthy for me. So um, I spoke to my doctor and my doctor um, guided me towards tea. He said, maybe you should think about drinking tea, less caffeine, um, a, a healthier for you. Um, and it, it, it will calm you instead of going on to like um, medication, uh, medication therapy. So I said, okay, let me do that. And plus, of my full-time job at the time, I it was very stressful. So a lot of things brought on that anxiety. So I did. I went to uh, a tea shop, and they were so, so, so nice, uh, so nice, and so gracious. And they explained to me um, the benefits of drinking tea. And I also did my research, and that's what happened. I started um, drinking, um, drinking tea, and I, I love it. And yes. it helps me to stay calm, less stressful, especially the chamomile and, yes. and the lavender. It really helps. So, and that's what kind of got me towards that, um, drinking tea. Your own health issues mm -hmm. due towards opening this business. Yes, yes. And it's yes. so, you know, listen, we go through these hardships, we go through these things mm -hmm. in our lives, yes. but then these incredible things things come out of it. Yeah. So let's talk about your business and also inspiring women out there that are thinking about, I mean, you're married, you were working, you have mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. Like what gave you the ability to make that leap and get past that fear? Oh, wow. Um, the mindset. I had to really change my mindset. I know I wanted to spread the joy about drinking tea and the benefits of it. So I, I also had like a, 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 a spa subscription box business prior to doing this, which my teas were involved in that, where they were part of that box. So from my customers and my subscribers, they kept, they loved the tea so much. And, and I gotten so many emails about how the tea helped, helped them and or helped their family members. And it gave me uh, inspiration that, okay, I'm gonna go for it and do this tea business now, starting, switching from a well um, oil subscription box business of a spa box to go into a tea box was enormous. You are helping people. Yes. If you want to, your company, Serenity Tea, you want to bring serenity to others. Yes. And, and so tea has antioxidants. It helps you with your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it helps possibly with weight loss. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so many benefits to the so tea. Many benefits. And you have you have said award-winning teas. Mm -hmm. So talk about the teas that come in your subscription box. Oh, wow. Um, I, uh, what I do with my subscription box, the True Serenity Tea, it's a theme-based box. Every month I create a theme. So yeah. my teas surround that theme. Yeah. So it could be um, like this particular box for this month, it, well, August into September, it's called the Forever Summer. Mm -hmm. So inside that particular box, it's all about the ending, you know, summer would never end. So you, right. it, they have tea that re reflects that particular, that thing. So, and inside. How fun. Also, yes. So, so, so let's, here is the box. Yes. 
So you get this so is a subscription box and yes. you get it once a month and it has yes. themes and different types of teas and yes. you have an edible snack yes. and you also have the tea strainer. Is that correct? Yes. Loosely yes. Tea. yes. But I want to talk about what you are offering to the viewers out there, how exciting uh, this is. Okay. For any viewer, for all the viewers, they uh -huh. will get um, basically 50% uh, off their first uh, box with using the code Marcy, of course, mm -hmm. and, and uh, as their code when they do their checkout. So each viewer will get that. That's, That's wonderful. Okay. So they'll get 50% off yes, if yes. they put in the code Marcy. Right. And what an incredibly special gift to give to someone else also yes. Yes. right now. You know, mm. we're not it, it, we're not able to give the, give the same kind of gifts. We're trying right. to give gifts that are thoughtful now right. and that can make a difference in right. people's lives. Mm -hmm. Tell us the website. Um, it's www.trueserenitytea.com. One more. One, oh, one, you got one more. Got one more big giveaway. Okay. Okay. The big giveaway is that whoever signed up for the newsletter, the first person to sign up for the newsletter, will get a 12 month subscription box from our company. Oh. Wow. So, okay. So, let's be clear on this. So, mm -hmm. if they go on your website mm -hmm. and sign up for the newsletter. The first person. The first person for the that newsletter, they will mm -hmm. get a free one year subscription to this yeah. tea. Right. It's fantastic. How mm -hmm. exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, guys, go go to tr trueserenitytea.com and make sure that you sign up for that newsletter. How yeah. incredible. Yeah. Come on. Right. <laughs> And please follow us both on an Instagram and get inspiration yeah. every day because I know the both of us, Patty, are there to inspire and help people. Yes. Yes. So I'm at Wake Up With Marcy and you are at True Serenity Tea. So yes. thank you, Patty, again. And how exciting viewers. You get yes. a free year. Yes. Go sign up now and yes. have an amazing day. Thank you yes. again, Patty. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in to Wake Up With Marcy. How amazing to have Kate Linder on the show and that huge giveaway. So you are going to want to go to True Serenity Tea right now and enter to win. Next week, we have Gilles Marini on and he's going to give us a man's perspective on a lot of different great subjects. So you're not going to want to miss next week. So if you're just tuning in, you can always catch the show on YouTube or Facebook at Wake Up With Marcy or follow me on Wake Up With Marcy on Instagram for any updates and inspiration. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.